Step back into 1945 with They Were Expendable, a movie that delves into the gripping realities of war. But hold on tight, because there's a lot more to this film than meets the eye. Behind the scenes, there are funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be uncovered. So keep watching to discover those hidden gems. Now, let me ask you this. Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Or perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor in this film was your favorite? And before you go, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep those tales coming, and let's keep the conversation alive. Released in 1945, the movie They Were Expendable remains significant even today, portraying the courage and sacrifice of American soldiers during World War II, especially the PT boat crews in the Philippines. The film realistically depicts the harsh realities of war, delving into the struggles faced by soldiers and their families, emphasizing the sacrifices made for the greater good a theme that holds relevance in today's world. One key reason for its lasting importance is its portrayal of the human cost of war, shedding light on the challenges endured by soldiers and their loved ones. This theme remains relevant as conflicts continue to impact countless lives globally. Moreover, They Were Expendable highlights the importance of resilience and camaraderie in the face of adversity. The characters' unwavering determination and loyalty to each other inspire audiences, serving as a reminder of the strength found in unity. Additionally, the movie's historical significance contributes to its enduring legacy. By depicting real events and honoring the bravery of those who served, it pays tribute to the heroism of the past. This historical authenticity captivates viewers, ensuring the film's place in cinematic history. In conclusion, the movie's lasting importance lies in its powerful portrayal of the human experience during wartime, its timeless themes of sacrifice and solidarity, and its historical significance. It remains a poignant reminder of the cost of freedom and the resilience of the human spirit. In the film, many of the actors served with John Ford and their salaries helped finance a rest home for veterans of his unit. John Wayne, although questioned for not serving in the military during World War II, was exempted due to his age and family status. He repeatedly expressed his willingness to join Ford's military unit, but was delayed due to contractual obligations. Republic Pictures intervened to prevent Wayne from being drafted, fearing the loss of their star actor. However, there were older men who enlisted despite being the sole support of their families. The real-life motor torpedo boat Squadron 3 in the Philippines during World War II had six 77-foot Elko PT boats, all lost in combat or destroyed. In the movie, these boats are represented by different models. John Ford's belief about John Wayne's choices was rooted in his perspective on duty and service. John Wayne requested changes to the script of They Were Expendable as he disliked the humiliation depicted in the evacuation scene from Baton. Consequently, a new scene was incorporated where his character was willing to disobey orders and join a jungle guerrilla until a superior officer intervened and ordered him back aboard. This alteration added depth to the character's dilemma. John Ford, the director, invested heavily in the film, possibly drawing from his own wartime experiences. John Wayne noted Ford's heightened intensity during filming, expressing that Ford was more focused than ever before, indicating a strong determination to achieve a particular vision. The film's narrative was inspired by the real-life exploits of Lieutenant John Bulkley, a Medal of Honor recipient during World War II. Bulkley's bravery and leadership served as the foundation for the characters and events portrayed in the movie. Ford's dedication, coupled with Wayne's input, and the real-life heroism of Bulkley contributed to the authenticity and emotional resonance of They Were Expendable. In They Were Expendable, the six boats of Motor Patrol Torpedo Squadron 3, including PT-31, PT-32, PT-33, PT-34, PT-35, and the flagship PT-41, commanded by Lieutenant John D. Buckley, depict accurate fates. The haunting song Marchita is notable, appearing twice in the film. It plays during a hospital dance on Corridor and later in a saloon scene. John Wayne's character, Rusty Ryan, leaves Dad Knowlton, played by Russell Simpson, sitting alone with a rifle and a jug of moonshine as Red River Valley plays, reminiscent of the Grapes of Wrath. Marchetta was a favorite of both Wayne and director John Ford. A rendition by Chet Atkins can be found on iTunes. They Were Expendable, released in 1945, is a war film directed by John Ford. Marshall Thompson portrays in Sin Gardner in the movie. In one scene, Gardner mistakenly drinks dishwater, thinking it's soup. 
This comedic moment is reminiscent of a similar gag used by Ford in another film, Mr. Roberts, where Jack Lemmon's character also makes the same mistake. John Wayne, who stars in They Were Expendable, shared a close friendship with Maureen O'Hara, describing her as the greatest friend he ever had. Their friendship lasted for 39 years until Wayne's passing in 1979. O'Hara, considered by many as Wayne's best leading lady, referred to a wing in her home as the John Wayne Wing. These personal connections add depth to the film's production and legacy. Tom Tyler appeared in five films with John Wayne. In Stagecoach, Wayne played the hero, while Tyler played the villainous loot plumber. In The Knight Riders, part of the Three Musketeers series, Wayne starred as Stony Brook, with Tyler in a supporting role. Tyler also portrayed Stony in subsequent films in the series. Robert Montgomery, a real-life PT skipper in World War II, helped direct some PT sequences for the film after John Ford broke his leg. Montgomery received praise from Ford for his work, who couldn't distinguish between his footage and Ford's. John Wayne co-starred with Rock Hudson in The Undefeated despite alleged anti-gay remarks. Despite their differing views, Wayne and Hudson formed a strong friendship that endured until Wayne's death in 1979. And they were expendable, the movie credits list the military rank and service of every cast and crew member who served during the war. John Ford, the director, used this as a subtle jab at John Wayne, who Ford believes should have enlisted after Pearl Harbor. Ironically, Ford later cast Wayne as Frank Weed, the naval hero and scriptwriter of They Were Expendable in the biopic Wings of Eagles. In a 1960 interview, John Wayne criticized the homosexual themes of Suddenly Last Summer and they came to Cordura. During a scene where Rusty and his crew are persuading Brickley to allow the 34 boat to join the attack on the Japanese cruiser, each sentence ends with sir. This reflects the military adage that you can say anything to an officer as long as you say sir. They Were Expendable is a 1945 war film that delves into the events of the Battle of Baton during World War II in the Philippines. The narrative follows the experiences of Lieutenant John Bulkley and Lieutenant Robert Kelly, portrayed by actors Jack Pennock and others. Notably, during a scene where spare crews prepare to depart for Army Units, Doc, played by Jack Pennock, collects tobacco, revealing the initials JP inside his hat. The movie draws its inspiration from William L. White's book of the same name, documenting the exploits of Lieutenant Bulkley and Lieutenant Kelly. However, the film adaptation prompted lawsuits from Lieutenant Kelly and U.S. Army nurse Peggy Smith, who objected to their portrayals. Kelly's character is depicted as impetuous and hell-bound for glory, while Nurse Smith is romantically involved with him. Legal settlements involving John Wayne, Donna Reed, and MGM were reached out of court for nominal sums, each less than $5,000. The backdrop of the film is the Battle of Baton, a significant World War II engagement in the Philippines, specifically in the central Luzon province on Luzon Island. Baton Peninsula, encompassing the entire region, serves as the focal point of the movie's wartime narrative. In conclusion, They Were Expendable provides a cinematic perspective on the Battle of Baton, drawing from real-life events documented in William L. White's book. The film's portrayal of Lieutenant Kelly and Nurse Smith led to legal challenges that were eventually settled out of court. The simplicity of the film's style and adherence to the book's storyline contribute to its historical authenticity.